it's hard to put it into any genre, but I would call it a feel-good movie. It's one of those movies that makes you feel warm and fuzzy at the end of it because you've gone on this really difficult journey with somebody and really through a time in their life where everything's changing and it's scary and you're unsure and uncertain and you are not equipped with the things you need to be equipped with. And then you realize you have everything inside you that you need to overcome this and, and actually come out the other side better. Which you really, it's, it's one of those defining moments in life where you learn one of the big life lessons, life-changing moments. I love going through that journey with characters. I think what I loved about the script and the idea, because it was an idea conceived by my producing partner, Lane Goldsmith Thomas, she um, had this idea for a working girl kind of script. She's always trying to think of the best things that fit into who I really am and, 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 and play into my strengths. And me growing up in the Bronx and understanding that life and being there until I was almost you know 26 years old. Um, it really plays into my strengths and what I can do as a character. We think that the mistakes that we make define us and that we can't supersede them and that the past has a hold of us in a way that keeps us stuck. And what I loved about this script, which is I relate to very much is that you are never stuck. You can always reinvent, you can always make a change, you can always keep growing. And to me, that message has so much relevance for everybody, but especially for women, especially in this day and age, that we can, we can forge our own future, we can do whatever we wanna do, and we don't have to be stuck in the past. It's a heartfelt, feel-good movie, but it, you know, as in life, we all are laughing and joking our way through it. And, and a lot of times, that's a defense mechanism. To me, though, that's the best comedies. I love a broad comedy where everything's just funny, but for me, the best comedies are the ones that are really based in reality of real life because those are the ones that you relate to more. Those moments with your friends where you're acting silly or those moments where you know, you're about to cry but then you wind up laughing. Those, those, are, the, those are the greatest, you know, for me, comedic moments. She's up for a promotion and, you know, done everything she can used all her, she's smart and capable and eager, but also scared and doubtful. And she doesn't get it, and then you kind of get to see who she really is, which is a scared person who's given up hope a long time ago, and we just don't know why. And when this whole other thing happens where she makes a wish and, you know, Leah's son in the movie, Dilly, creates this profile for her, this whole new person, and she gets an opportunity to show what she's got and what she's made of, and she rises to the occasion. It was a great thing to have Leah Remini play the part of my best friend because we are such good friends in real life, and there was just a familiarity, and I kept saying to her, I was like, I just want it to be like how we are in real life, you know, like how silly we are and how, you know, we've had these heartfelt talks where we are helping each other through the hardest moments of our lives, whether it's me going through a divorce or her changing jobs or, you know, all different kinds of moments where we just didn't even know where we were going and just helping each other through it. And this movie was very much that, which is why I thought she would be the perfect person to play that because we've actually lived those moments where we had to push each other through the fear and push each other through those, those, those difficult, dark times where you just think, I'm never gonna be the same, or I'm, this is never gonna get better, and then it does. And, and so it was, it, was, it was kind of the perfect thing for us to do together. We had looked for something to do together for a very long time, and this was just 
like heaven sent. The minute I read the script, you know, they started asking me, you know, who do you see in this role? Who do you see in that role? We see this version. And I was like, I only see one person for Trey, Milo, and to Miglia. I just, I don't know. There was just something about this baseball coach guy who was a solid boyfriend person who was just kind of really loved her and was waiting for her and understood that she had issues but didn't really know all they were and I, I, I don't know he just seemed like the perfect person I just he, his face just always popped into my mind and I, we were just lucky to be able to get him I mean he's so busy right now with his hit show and probably the one of the biggest moments in his career but he read the script and once we spoke we both knew that it was something that we wanted to do together. Working with Pete is awesome. I really enjoyed it. Um, as the shoot's gone on, we've gotten closer and closer, obviously. Um, gained that trust that an actor, the lead actor and the director have to have. It's almost like we're working in tandem in every scene to make sure that he's getting everything that he wants and seeing everything he needs to make this story work and me being kind of the facilitator of that, making sure I'm not missing any of the moments. And we just had a really good working relationship in that way. And I think that comes from a mutual respect. I've, I've loved his work before. Obviously he's, you know, so prolific in comedies. And so I was not worried about that part of it, but the whole, you know, emotional side of this and the whole journey of it, he was so up for it. You know, he was so understood. Like all great romantic comedies, there's a city that is a big character in the movie, and for us, it definitely is New York and the outer boroughs, and then her kind of transition into what we call Manhattan Maya, into the city, into the big city, and, and go, you know, taking that ride on that train where you're just, you know, I remember doing that when I was coming up, when I was a dancer, and taking that ride into the city, and how profound that was to leave the Bronx or to leave Queens in Maya's sense, in my character sense, and go to an, it's like going to another planet. It's like going into another world when you go into Manhattan. And it affects you and it changes you. And New York, you know, is that thing. It's